Hey everyone, welcome back to Black Traveling Culture. I am your girl Kim, aka Kim with the Gems, and I'm coming to you live from Italy. First, I want to acknowledge that yes, this channel has gone through a recent name change, um, previously known as Black Culture Talks. We will be known as Black Travel and Culture moving forward. That is the name that most of the other platforms that I manage are on so if you're on any of the other social media platforms you will find black travel and culture and i wanted to keep it homogenous and not really confuse people on this channel we're going to continue to talk about all things relevant to the culture with travel being the anchor um, not all videos will include travel content some will be related to travel how you can finance your travels um how to find great deals on travel places that may be wise destinations for people of color and the like on this welcome back video we're just going to take you through the first two days in milan and we're going to try to come back a few times this week just showcasing some of the places that we'll be going there's everything from a cooking class to a trip to Switzerland and some other places. But for now, I really just wanted to come in and say thank you, people who are still watching the videos, for people who are asking where are more videos, <laughs> we got you. Uh, we have been building on other platforms, so come and follow us there. But I'm going to put some screenshots up here to show you where you can follow us and see how our community has just been growing extensively and again i just really wanted to thank you the community for continuing to tune in subscribers numbers are going up if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do that now also turn on the notification bell we are going to do some lives i hope to come to you guys live tomorrow from a cooking class it will be around 12 12 30 eastern standard time so check us out uh, for that and go ahead and hit the thumbs up button i would really appreciate it so for now we're going to get into the journey from new york to milan so yes i guess you could say our upcoming series will be all things italy and switzerland and another thing I would love for you to um, let us know where you would like to visit in the next year because we are also going to do a series on finding some of the most affordable fares to different destinations, um, different countries, wherever it is that you're looking to visit, even if it's domestic in the U.S., let us know because on our other channels, we do host some of the best fares type of content so let us know in the comments or let me know in the comments where it is that you would like to visit and right now it is 1 30 in the morning and so i'm just gonna hop off i am going to post the video before i go to bed and i will see you tomorrow at the cooking class until then arrivederci ciao so we gave ourselves plenty of time to get to the airport due to the construction happening en route to JFK. We were able to avoid all of that and get to the airport three hours before our flight. The pre-check line was out of control. Ended up signing up for clear to avoid that 45-minute wait, then headed to the Amex Centurion Lounge to have some food and some cocktails. We talked about the benefits of having certain travel credit cards that get you this type of access included with your membership. And I'll be sure to link that video in the description box. This lounge was in Terminal 4, right on the other side of security. And what was special about this particular lounge, although crowded, contained a speakeasy lounge on the top floor. We'll show you inside. It was rather small, no room to sit down, but it was a cute little addition, I guess, for when it's not as populated. And here it is. It's definitely a vibe, but we did a U-turn because it was just too crowded inside. Went back to the main area, loaded up on some protein. The chicken was really good and a cocktail. This lounge also has prints for sale from Andy Warhol to Jay-Z. Made it to the gate in time for boarding, which started on time. Another beautiful thing about holding certain travel cards is that there are certain perks like 
being first in boarding, even if you're not in first class or business class, you still get to board ahead of the rest of the zones, which is a plus, especially if you have carry-on luggage. A straight, smooth shot to the plane. No waiting in the gangway for people to put up their luggage and find their seats. We love an easy breezy process. Thank you Delta for offering this service even to basic economy ticket holders with the Sky Miles Amex card. Crew, welcome aboard Delta Airlines flight uh, 198 to Milan, Italy. We'll be shutting the door here in just a few minutes. Our flight time today is 7 hours and 3 minutes. For the most part, we do expect a uh, smooth ride uh, just before the top of our climb, maybe uh, a little bit of rough air. And then uh, once we're up there, it should be smooth across the Atlantic. Tomorrow morning, when we land at Milan, uh, cloudy skies, temperatures at about 12 degrees. Celsius, uh, mid uh, 50s Fahrenheit. Happy to have you on board. We'll be on our way here very shortly. So basic economy was fine, especially since I had the entire road to myself. And now we're off. Here's the first meal that we're offered. We had a choice between a chicken pasta dish and a vegetarian pasta dish with some type of salad. Of course, had a glass of white wine and a lemon chocolate brownie type of dessert. And this was the salad. It had some type of mayonnaise or cream in it. I decided to pass. And just over an hour before we landed, we had our second meal, which was a breakfast sandwich. This was such a smooth ride from the beginning to the end. Shout out to the pilot and welcome to Milano. The airport is huge, so make sure you wear comfortable shoes. It had to be at least a mile walk from the plane to customs to luggage, then public transportation. The trains in Milan are super efficient. Everyone says it's the best way to get around. The price was only 13 euros as compared to about 100 euros for an Uber. And there are even luggage racks to store your luggage for the ride. And one of the first things that we had to do as a first timer in Milan was visit the very famous Duomo. Wait for it, it's such a spectacular site. The architecture is just exquisite, and this is just on the outside. Of course, we'll share more about the Duomo and all of the major attractions, but for now, just take a look.
And now it's time to eat. Before we get all in the pasta and the pastries, let's check out McDonald's. Here we are with the chicken Big Mac, some beer, and french fries. We love to try different menu items when we travel. But of course, an Italian meal was at the top of the list. And Porto Bello did not disappoint. Known for their pizza as well, I opted for traditional pasta since we are taking a pizza making class tomorrow. The food, the service, everything was really great at this restaurant. Again, the name is Porto Bello, and this was the first course, which is fried calamari and fried shrimp. And oh, so fresh, so tasty as you can see <laughs> by the empty plate. And then next up was seafood spaghetti. Oh, it was equally as delicious. Also a half bottle of wine, a bottle of sparkling water. Wait for the dessert. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> and reminded me of flan, even though it's called creme caramello. Oh, it was so, so good. The total bill for everything that I just mentioned was only 40 euro, which is about 42, 43 US and well worth it. 